Beauty is not a luxury. Rather, it is a way of creating possibility in the space of enclosure, a radical art of subsistence, an embrace of our terribleness, a transfiguration of the given. It is a will to adorn, a proclivity for the Baroque, and the love of too much, Saidia Hartman. Remixing cultural heritage and traditions in order to envision possible futures underscores the work of many artists in this exhibition, Muholi, Ja, and Claxton, but also Meryl McMaster and Aida Mulune. McMaster is of Plains Cree descent on her father's side, and her dramatic self-portraits are visionary restagings and reimaginings of histories and legends passed down from her father and his community. The otherworldly outfits are made in studio, and then McMaster performs in them at storied sites. Mulune, who is Ethiopian-born and currently based there, draws from traditions of body paint mixed with avant-garde and futuristic garments. Her images are not self-portraits, yet she challenges the depictions that constantly characterize her country. Images of Ethiopia center so often on war and poverty, and Mulune's series provides a nuanced and empowering counter-narrative. Latinx artist Martine Gutierrez pays homage to her Mayan ancestry in her demon self-portraits, where she styles herself as goddesses. This was one of several photo series in her project Indigenous Woman, a 124-page glossy magazine in which Gutierrez styled, staged, and shot every ad and editorial. The title refers to both her racial background as well as her sex. Indigenous here can mean intrinsic or inherent, referring to the artist's transsexual experience of knowing she was female despite being assigned male at birth.